honestly i decided to do this video super last minute because i didn't feel like waiting for my boyfriend to make it and we both feel like it deserves a review i am going to go over the university blue jordan 13s i'm going to give you guys a couple of details on them and also try them on so that you can get an idea of what they're like both on and off foot <laughs> boyfriend for copying me this shoe before this i didn't have a pair of 13s but i think these are essential also i wanted us to both have a matching pair of shoes and i just feel like this is a shoe we could both easily style with and without each other so if you guys want to see that in a separate video let me know but i am about to go over a couple details on the shoe before i try it on so really this retro nike air jordan 13 shoe it's pretty casual it's like all of the other 13s um in terms of the style but it has a university blue suede which by the way is very difficult to clean you don't want to get it dirty and the colors are really just black white and blue on the side of the shoe you have the black nylon mesh 3m situation um and then you turn the shoe and we get into this tongue which is all black suede Features a light blue jump man at the top. Laces that are black and honestly pretty hidden. And then when you get to the bottom, the tip of the toe box, you have the Jordan label at the front. And then when you flip it to the back, you have the 13, the number 13 in Roman. You have the number 13 in Roman numerals, which is standard for any 13. So that's pretty dope. Now, when you flip the Jordan to the other side, you have the classic holographic print bubble with the jordan jumpman in the inside this is one of my favorite details and i just noticed that i got to do something really satisfying in this video which is rip off the protective plastic and when you do that the bubble just gets a little shinier that's always nice aside from the holographic print bubble you have the black pods on the bottom which i guess is only different because they're black the crevices are pretty difficult to clean, but the fact that they're black is awesome because if not, they're typically white, and that's always just harder to clean in general, so... Now, I know we don't typically pay attention to the bottom of the shoe, but the details on this one matter, okay? The bottom of the shoe features a style reminiscent of the Black Cat 13s. That's fire. That No explanation either. That's mad fire. Another thing I think is worth mentioning about the bottom of the shoe is that aside from the inside tag, the outside tag, and the 3M reflective situation, you don't really get to see the color white. So when you lift your foot, when you're walking, you get a little bit of that white action. I really like that. And again, the details on the bottom of the shoe matter, but I don't really know what this means. Let me know in the comments. Um, In the middle, on the bottom middle portion of the shoe you have the carbon fiber shank plate i think i said that correctly but most importantly you have another holographic bubble this one is blue i wish that was on the side of the shoe i guess that's really my only criticism but this is classic you can't beat it anyways it's the same on every other shoe so i haven't put the shoe on yet i am going to try it on camera have my little sister record it and let's see what it looks like on a girl review send me some sneakers okay and like it subscribe comment let me know what's up let me know if you have the shoe and what you think about it okay bye